Praise the Lord, family. And greetings from Discipling Ministries, located in Radcliffe, Kentucky. We pray you receive this message in good health and in perfect peace. Our food from a raven this week is, this is key. And our text is taken from Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 13 through 19. But I'll only read verse 19, which says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Most of us know this story to be when Peter received and openly acknowledged what God had spoken to him, and Jesus declaring on what he built his church. This is key. We, the believers, have gotten off course and made our organizations our God or the type of church we are. What is meant by organization is anything other than a relationship with God. We've decided the only place God dwells is at our edifice. We've decided that our apostle, bishop, pastor, or, or praise team is the only one worth hearing. We've decided that if we don't have a praise break, <laughs> that that ain't God. <laughs> if they don't have the same tenets of faith that we do, that ain't God. If they don't dress or smell holy, that ain't God. If they don't possess this type or that type of degree or training, that ain't God. All these things are organizational and has nothing to do with a relationship with God. The church, the body of Christ, is relational, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies. A family, one body, and built on the chief, corner, the chief cornerstone, knowing God, being able to hear him, to know his voice as flesh and blood can't reveal it to us, and neither can our organizations. This is key. This key the believers are given represents the authority and power of God. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. If we can't love, if we can't forgive, if we can't put others above ourselves, if we can't fellowship, if we can't respect our differences, if we can't build relationships outside of the names on our ministries, if we can't respect the men and women of God, if we can't bridle our tongues or hold our peace, if we can't walk in humility, we're using the wrong key and allowing our personal organization to outweigh our relationships. And through a relationship is how Peter received revelation that changed the course of his life. This is key. If we're going to possess the authority and power of God, we must arm ourselves with the same mind and thereby doing the will of the Father and not my own or my organization. For a believer's life is but for the will of God. This is key. Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and pray with you.